What's up, boys and girls? Tweety here. We're on uh, my uh, Feed the Beast test world, uh, running the Minecraft Pack version 8.1.1. Doing another uh, beekeeping tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about automation. Um, there's so many different ways of automating. Um, I'm just going to show you what I have set up here. It's pretty crude. But uh, basically what you're going to want to do <coughs> is get your um, your comb out of your apiaries or alvaries. How I have mine set up is a, a wooden pipe, stone pipe. That's a, a cobblestone pipe so they don't connect. It goes into an apparatus pipe. The uh, extra bees go back in, so the queen and extra drones, you know, if, if there's room for extra drones, will go back into the, um, into the apiary. If not, they'll go up into this iron pipe. Um, this is a autoarchic gate, uh, set for missing queen or princess, do an energy pulse. And then this uh, iron pipe comes over here and goes down comes over to another apparatus pipe where I have items going red and any bees going black. So you see that? These are item test racks. But uh, easily could be um, ender chests or you could just run pipe to wherever you want. <coughs> the uh, extra bees are going into here. I just have these hoppers set up so that uh, um, you know, I, I don't get too full because this will hold like seven and uh, if they don't stack there you know, that way there's plenty of room for them if they don't stack together you know, different types of bees and then that, you know, goes to the gene pool and to my giant gene pool tank over there um all the extra items will come over here to this tesseract and into a relay. I don't think I need this pipe here, but I got it anyway. And then that, uh, this relay, what it does is it basically goes from buildcraft pipe to uh, the pneumatic tubing. And you don't need a redstone signal or nothing. It's pretty nice. And then those go to centrifuges. Um, yeah, that's the basic thing, is you want to get your comb over to your centrifuge. From here, it produces beeswax and anything else. And that's being pumped out into this iron pipe here. This iron pipe is pumping into a diamond pipe, which tells the silky propolis to go back up. And then this goes back to the... Uh, the start to go back into the uh, the centrifuge. Uh, tiny piles go down into this relay and this relay goes to these pneumatic tubes where I have these packagers set up and they'll take uh, uh, any same item if the uh, if the recipe is a uh, 3 by 3 like uh, nuggets to combine them into an ingot or in this case four, uh, two by two the tiny piles of lead dust into a big pile of lead dust which then gets pumped out let me see if I have any any lead and comb in here mysterious comb uh, here we go lead and comb we'll go ahead and stick that in this one and we can watch it work now well, uh, um, while this is going, let me show you this. This is uh, what I have set up for for my purposes. It's uh, the pneumatic tubing on top and bottom of barrels. This works really well because the pneumatic tubing is pretty smart. It'll um, um, put honey here, it'll put the propolis here, and um, it's not like the build craft pipe where you know it has a chance of going in and, you know it could 
if this was build craft pipe, uh, you know, like the gold pipe there, it could come over here with the honey, try to go in, and it would come back out because honey doesn't go into this spot, and then it would try to go back this way, and then go back into the machine, which might pump it back out, and, you know, might try to go in this one, and then, you know, it's uh, uh, pretty random how it, it chooses. It's like a 50-50 chance of um, coming out and going into this one, you know, going straight or going down, and then that will have a 50-50 chance, and then so on down the line. But uh, with this pneumatic tube, it's uh, pretty much guaranteed to go into where you want it to go. As you can see, it's moving along nicely. Come over here, we look at our our tiny piles. You can see they're coming down. If we look at this guy, oh, and there it goes. See, we get we get four tiny piles, and it'll craft it into a big pile automatically. That comes over here to a powered furnace. You don't have to use powered furnace. That's just how I have mine set up because I have a whole crap ton of MJ power. Uh, anyway, this is set up so that the tiny piles will come in here, or the uh, big piles will come in here, and then they get turned into, um, you know, the ingots. You know, they get cooked. Uh, you don't need to have a uh, wooden pipe with a, you know, something to pump it out on these guys. They uh, because it's set to come out this way. You just run a regular pipe or a gold pipe or whichever. That comes back over here and into the diamond or back into the uh, iron pipe. Goes through the diamond, comes through the thing, and gets placed where it's supposed to go. Um, yeah, that's that's that, right? That's basically what you're going to want to do. Uh, the other nice thing about this pneumatic tube down here is you can get these retrievers and like how I have mine set up for honey drops I can as soon as it gets a oop, red stone signal it actually calls for whatever's in here um, this one's set up with four different things and if I cycle it four times there we go we get all four items that were requested. Those are going in to this carpenter, which is set to make scented paneling. And you need scent scented paneling for the uh, alvarees. Uh, but I need some more planks. Oh, right there. Oak plank. Oak plank. Oak plank. So that should give me a stack, I believe, right? Yeah. If I throw these three in there. Yeah. Um, oh, I got some up here. Why did, how did I get up there? Anyhow. Uh, and then this guy is uh, taking the honey drops and making them into honey. He's going into a liquid test rack, going into a tank. Uh, the tank's coming back over to here to fill up my carpenter with the scented paneling. Uh, another thing you're going to need is seeds for seed oil. If you plan on making, um, if you plan on making the uh, impregnated frames, you need the impregnated sticks, and you get seed oil and oak wood, like the wood block, and that's how you make those. We can go ahead and put a couple in here like that. Um, so basically stack per stack, right? Because you get two for... yeah, right? It's, it'll take a stack to make a stack. That's coming in here, going into an auto crafting table. Uh, the auto crafting table is pulling out from this chest and as soon as it has enough, there we go makes one and this is a um, transposer 
and it's pulling from the chest and going into these pneumatic tubes which then go to the frame housings um, another use of the pneumatic tubes because they're smart enough to know which one to go to uh, they always go to the closest one first like they went to that one and then that one next time they'll probably come up here yeah the next one will go into here and then the next one you know so on so on so on until they're all filled up um, up here I have pretty much the same setup as my alvearies just a little different because of how they're spaced um, apparatus pipe apparatus pipe extra bees going back in you know you know the drill uh, the seed oil I'm getting from pumpkins you don't have to use pumpkins you can use uh, melons ah, sorry I had to get a drink throat was dry uh, you can use melons or regular seeds um, but there's a couple seeds that you can't use Ooh, if I could spell seed right um, I don't think you can use flax seed or henna quid seed but these seed drops work well um, we can try them out I mean technically I could just push U on them and see if they work um, no they don't work pretty sure these don't work either right but uh, the seed drops do the uh, seed drops are from farmed bees if we look at the farmed uh, produce every five minutes they'll produce a seedy comb and these are from cultivated and rural rural are from meadow and diligent so there's that um, yeah, how I'm powering my farm over there is with the uh, energy tesseract which I think you use like lose like 25% of the power but they don't use a lot of power so it's not a big deal um, and this is also being powered with the energy tesseract uh, what else do we got um, one more thing and I think that's it is like with these guys here they're also producing pollen and royal jelly um, you don't want those to go through your centrifuge so uh, you have to have a little bit more um, setup on these like this one I have uh, any bees going to the gene pool anything going into this diamond pipe and then from this diamond pipe I have it splitting the uh, pollen and royal jelly to uh, this one and this one just goes right over here to this one which goes into this iron pipe which you don't need to have a uh, wooden pipe to pull stuff out of another nice thing of using these guys um, yeah I could put another item I could put an item um, tesseract here instead of this pipe and it do the same thing um, well I believe that's it you know it's uh, all about getting the comb to the centrifuge that's a must that's the only way that you can can you know get your comb uh, into other stuff as far as I know um, you need your seed oil this is the only way that I know of to get your seed oil or seeds to seed oil is through a squeezer um, it all uses uh, MJ power the uh, Minecraft jewels uh, one thing about this conduit how it works uh, let's see wrench so uh, like right here where I'm trying to pull power away from this if I shift clip click it breaks and I shift click it on you see it's blue well, that means it's trying to put power into it same with these guys over here they're all blue 
and eventually these guys would run out of power and they would cease to work but uh, all you have to do is right click and see how it turned uh, brownie orange that means it's pulling power from that and going in and that's how those work you do not need to do that with the engines though the engines are pumping power into the um, into the conduit and you don't have to worry about it like that is that one being powered? oh yeah it's being powered by that but uh, yeah that's uh, everything um, oh yeah you want to make sure that your tiny piles are uh, going into something to craft them into uh, large piles you could also use a auto crafting table for that I just thought that these were pretty neat automatic no power required no extra hoops and things to go through with like a chest and whatnot and yeah that is pretty much it um, we'll go ahead and end it oh yeah one more thing I, I discovered a new bee species invincible princess invincible these guys uh, produce tungsten tungsten ore or tungsten comb I mean and they are right here with a resilient and an ender bee and you know to get the ender bees you have to go to the end which is uh, why I have that uh, okay let's go through this and look at some of the bee species prehistoric that's a new one it even has further mutations how's that primeval and a majestic nice very nice longer it's good uh, ancient comb what else do we got farmed swamped I've seen those um, bauxite invincible resolute bronze nice they produce bronze and they are corroded with tarnished tarnished is resilient and cultivated which you know is no guarantee again like you're gonna <laughs> like the last video um, hardy tolerant resilient marshy rural wintry tropical less industrious unwary I think that's all the new ones prehistoric is new haven't seen that before Sweetened, farmed, marbled, bittered. Yeah. Yeah, my, uh, I think my, my randomizer is done. It cannot randomize anymore with the, uh, types of bees that are in it. Because there's just so many in there and they're stacking. They shouldn't be stacking at all. Did that just put another... No, ancient. Um, yeah, I don't know how the heck they started stacking. What? I just took a majestic out of there. Dang it. Alright, that'll work. But, uh, yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and end it. Thanks for watching. Leave me a like if you liked it. Leave me a dislike if you didn't like it. But uh, please leave me a comment, tell me what you'd liked or didn't like, and not like, you know, suck it, you know, I don't want, you know, I need some uh, constructive criticism so that I can improve my, my videos. I don't want you to just write, I hate you, you know, something like that. It's, uh, it'll really help me out knowing um, how to change my videos for you guys to like them and uh, yeah check out my other videos we'll see you later I'm out of here